welcome to statics lectures by civil thinking and today we are going to see another concept in equivalent force systems today's topic is converting force into a force couple equivalent system now before i move on i suggest you to please watch the video lectures in sequence one by one as in the playlist so that you will understand better the playlist link is in the description or you can also click on the pop-up on your screen now coming to the today's topic converting force into a force couple equivalent system now let me introduce this concept with the principle of transmissibility okay principle of transmissibility okay now according to the principle of transmissibility of forces if we move a force along its line of action okay for example let us assume this is the line of action of this 10 kN force okay now if you move this 10 kN force along the line of action for example you move it here you move it here okay or you move it here there will be no change in effect on this body for example let us say first let us find the moment when this 10 kN force is here okay at its original position let us find the moment at point O now moment at point O is 10 multiplied by 2 right 10 multiplied by 2 right because 10 is the force and the distance between this 10 kN force and point O is 2 meters so the moment is 10 multiplied by 2 which is of course clockwise right clockwise which is 20 kN meter right which is clockwise now I have moved this 10 kN force to this point right now what is the moment about point O it is 10 kN this force now how far is 10 kN normally from point O it is again 2 meters right it is multiplied by 2 which is 20 kN meter right now here now this 10 kN meter force is going to exert again a clockwise movement at point O right so it is again clockwise it means when we move the force along its line of action there is no change in effect on the body right there is no change in effect of the body right if you move it along the line of action of force okay there will be no change in movement okay that means we say there is no change in effect on the body okay now if i tell you to move this 10 kN force from point a to point b what is going to happen let us assume i move this 10 kN force here okay this is 10 kN force so here is no force okay because i move this force from a to b now let us find the moment at point o now moment at point o is what 10 kN multiplied by how far is 10 kN force normally from point O it is 2 meters right so it is 2 meters which is 10 kN meter right now this 10 kN is going to exert an anti-clockwise movement at O okay so it is anti-clockwise movement so what did we see when the force was at A there was clockwise movement right but when I moved from A to B, now we have anti-clockwise movement at point O. What does it mean? It means if we move the force away from the line of action, there is change in effect. Okay? The movement has changed. In first, it was clockwise. Now, when I move it from A to B, now the movement has changed into anti-clockwise movement. Okay? Therefore, there is change. Right? So, my question to you is 
how can you move this 10 kN force from A to B such that there is no change in effect of the body? Is it possible if you move it from A to B, if you move the 10 kN force from point A to point B and you find for example movement at O, it is in both the cases clockwise. Is that possible? Yes, it is possible. So how, what we are going to do, we are going to first, we will move the force from A to B, but we will also find the movement of this 10 kN of point A at point B, okay? So what is the movement? Now this 10 kN movement is going to exert what? Clockwise movement at B, right? It is going to exert clockwise movement at B, something like this, right? How much is the movement? It is 10 multiplied by how much is 10 kN normally from, from point B? It is 2 plus 2 is 4, right? Which is 10 multiplied by 4, which is 40. Okay. What I did, I moved the force from A to B, but I also added a force. Okay. I also added a couple at point B due to the 10 kN at its original position. Okay. I find the moment at the new position this is a new position of 10 kN right b is a new position the original position of 10 kN is point a i find the moment okay of the original position at the new position okay now in this way there will be no change in the effect okay let me prove now let's find the moment at point o due to the force at b and due to the moment of 40 kN meter at point B, right? So let's find the moment at O. Now moment at O, it is going to be 10 multiplied by 2, right? Due to this force, it is 10 multiplied by 2. 10 multiplied by 2. Now this 10 kN is going to exert anti-clockwise anti moment at O. So it is going to be negative here because I have made an assumption anti-clockwise moments are negative and clockwise moments are positive okay so we, we were finding the moment at point o so it is 10 multiplied by the normal distance now this moment which is here it is 40 and it is clockwise okay and the clockwise moments are positive okay so it will be plus 40 how much is it it is 10 multiplied by 2 which is 20 but it is negative negative 20 plus 40 right which is now 40 minus 20 is what it is 20 kilonewton meter right sorry it was 2 multiplied by 10 here it was 20 right now we see when we move this force along with a moment here the moment is 20 kilonewton meter right which is clockwise right because positive moments are clockwise now if you compare this and this situation what do you see you see there is no change right this is 20 kN meter clockwise this is 20 kN meter clockwise what does it mean it means when you move the force from one position to another position and you also add up the moment okay then there will be no change right there will be no change in effect of the body right so this way if you want to move a force from point a to point b but you don't want any change to the effect on the body what you will do you will move it with a moment okay so let me explain it a bit here this was the body right let me change the color First, the force was here, 10 kN, okay, and you, what you'll do, you will move the force, okay, this is the body, this is the same body, okay, now this was point A and this is point B, okay, now you move this force from point A to point B, like this, okay, 10 kilonewton okay let us say this is at a distance of four meters 
the distance between A to B is 4 meters. Now you move the 10 kN from A to B, but what is the moment of this 10 kN at point B? It is going to be clockwise, right? It is going to be 10 multiplied by 4, which is 40 kN meter, right? Now you move this force from A to B, but you also added a moment of 40 kN meter at point B, okay? Now, due to this moment at point B, there will be no change in the effect of this motion of this force on the body. Okay, you have moved the force from A to B and you have also added a moment. Okay, this way there will be no change in the effect on the body. Okay, so if you want to move the force from away from the line of action, for example, from A to B, you have to also add up a moment at the new position because of the force at the original position okay so i hope you understand and this was today's topic and if you have any doubts please comment and see you in the next class thank you